This is a three day, two night trip. Parking lot is very full. Uh, it's nice and warm on this Friday afternoon. It's just afternoon right now. Uh, on this bike pass and Pilot Ridge Loop. Let's see how it goes. This is the intersection with the Pilot Ridge Trail, which is where I'm going to be coming down on the uh, way out of this loop. Here's the Red Creek campsite, four miles in. Old survey mark that the tree has reclaimed. Marmots here. There's one. There was one over there too, but he moved. Goodbye. I gotta come through here, sir. I gotta get through. Sorry. You're gonna have to move. There's no passing lane. Come on, pal. I know you don't want to, but you gotta. Bye. Have a nice day. It's a really small marmot. Little baby marmot. Good morning everybody, welcome to day two, uh, a bit of an abrupt transition from day one to day two uh, in terms of the video. Uh, last night I got up here, I was so dead, so exhausted, uh, my both calves and both quads were cramping up and so I had to deal with that. Uh, I felt sick, didn't even eat dinner. Um, and so I pretty much went straight to bed without doing any filming. But it is the morning. I feel quite a bit better. And so hopefully I can show you around where I am camped. Here's the view from my campsite looking out over the mountains there. Um, my way up here came down this valley and then up this side hill. That was the up the side hill that killed me. Over to the side. Um, we can see the hillside where the last sec section of trail is. Um, the trail up from the valley meets up with the Pacific Crest Trail just to the left. We can't see it from here because there's trees blocking it, but that is the Pacific Crest Trail. And here is the White Pass camping area. Big old valley here, you're not really camping in the valley, you're camping along this line of trees back here. My spot's right down there, you can see the hip. And then like, coming around, there's more, you can see the hint of a tent down there. There's the sun rising along White Pass itself and the Pacific Crest Trail. Down there is where camp was. 
here's where it came from yesterday. I've completed a full circle. That is the way I'm going today. This stuff is interesting. I'm not quite sure what it is. If you're familiar with bear grass, it looks a whole lot like that, but it doesn't look like most of the pictures of bear grass I've ever seen. It looks kind of like if bear grass had just stepped out of the shower. I believe that's Johnson Mountain, and tonight I'll be camping down on the other side of it. Uh, there's a lake down there. And then tomorrow, um, I'll climb up to this ridge line here and then follow it all the way back to the car. Here's one of the classic shots you see in the trail guides. Uh, with one exception, uh, most of these flowers have, are on their way out now. Two or three weeks ago, um, every single one of these uh, flowers that you see sticking up would have been a bright purple. First barbet of day number two. Treats my total up to 11 today. Sorry, I mean for the trip, 11 for the trip. Though I've heard the whistling and rustling of many more, I've only seen 11 so far. Sorry about the shake. Kind of happens when the zoom lens is zooming. The more majestic marmot, right atop the cliff. Here's a look at Reflection Pond. Pretty great campsite over there. A whole lot of blueberries just about everywhere you go. Here's a look into the North Fork uh, Sock River drainage that I came up yesterday. It's a little pond. This is why it's not so good to let your balloons go and just let them float where they will. Because <sighs> they end up up here at 6,000 feet in the mountains. Happy birthday. This is our first good view of Glacier Peak. I don't know if we'll get another one. So first, last, maybe the uh, fourth tallest mountain in Washington. We couldn't see it yesterday because the uh, ridge in front of it was too close 
so we couldn't see over it. Over up here is Kodak Peak, which I was trying to get to the top of to get a great panoramic view, but my legs have informed me that that won't be happening, and I'm inclined to uh, listen to them. Got an amazing valley down here, filled with marmots. You can see the trail going down there. last look at the basin I just climbed up. We're on a ridge line now. There you can see the trail that I came up. And then over there, um, you may be able to see the trail that I came on, uh, well, further back in time, I guess. side of the ridge, you can see where I'm heading down to, the aptly named Blue Lake. Dinner tonight is a cheddar broccoli fusilli pasta with sliced beef sticks. Get a look at that beauty. First hot meal of the trip since I didn't have dinner yesterday. Uh, and I'm very excited. Here's the route that I've followed. Uh, I started here at the North Fork Sock Trailhead. Sorry, this isn't quite in focus, but that's okay. You can get the picture. Starting here, after a bit of a rough drive in from the Mountain Loop Highway, you start here, have a pretty lovely forest walk along there. You know, gradual uphill along the river, nothing too bad. This section here is the part that actually absolutely just horrifically murdered me yesterday so that I felt sick and didn't eat dinner and then I camped at White Pass right here you see we've joined the Pacific Crest Trail here today uh, I got up and have followed the Pacific Crest Trail all the way down here I attempted to climb Kodak Peak but my leg said no so I only got about halfway up um, came down here all the meadows all the wonderful hillsides all the alpine stuff anyway had lunch at Dishpan Gap um, and then followed this to, this is the uh, Blue Lake High Route, and here's the Blue Lake Low Route. Uh, I took the High Route, which basically bushwhacks its way straight up and over the ridge, uh, and then comes straight back down the ridge to Blue Lake, which is where I am right now. 
Tomorrow, we have our last significant uphill portion of the trip. Right at the start, we go up and up, um, and then I consider climbing Johnson Mountain, and then probably say no because my legs will hate me. And I follow the ridge. I believe this is all still meadowed. Um, quite a ways down here. Um, follow the ridge, follow the ridge, follow the ridge, and then we plunge back down through the forest and intersect back with the trail I started with, and then follow two more miles to get back to the trailhead. Last night was freezing and I slept terribly. Let's see how fast we can get back to the car. It's our first real shot of Mount Rainier this trip. You can see all the flowers around. The mountain chicken, and this won't focus. Back at the trail junction now, uh, where we were two days ago, and so we've concluded the loop portion, and now we just have two miles to get back to the car.